I 10 at 10. Truckload after truckload rolling in, filled with scrap scavengers looking to cash in. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. The first day of cleanup week in the Fargo Moorhead area is the busiest for scrap yards as people fill trucks and trailers trying to turn the junk into cash. Valley News Team's Krista Baim looks at how much extra you could put in your pocket if you're scavenging for the right items. A washing machine, a grill, a lawnmower or two. Just some of the more common items found in a scrap yard. And once a week each year, in the back of Dustin Broughton's pickup. Oh, we got tons. We've been doing this two weeks. We got a whole yard full, a storage unit full. Call it a family tradition. Broughton has been picking up since he was a kid what others don't want during cleanup week. As long as I can remember, me and my dad used to do it when we were kids, everything. And it's carried on to his own family. The monster going to grab it out of the truck? Monster grab it out of the truck. A tradition that's brought him more than just a couple extra bucks in his pocket. Make about 4000 a year. We're actually helping the city because I don't think they really want to go around and pick up the stuff. Iron, steel, copper, and aluminum are what Rotten and all other haulers are bringing into scrap yards, which pay on site. Sheet iron's $40 a ton. Uh, unprepared steel's at 60 Prepared's at 80 uh, Number one cast iron's 120 Do you think you'll get paid for that? Over 100, I'm sure. Cole Broughton, a scrap professional. It's a lot of work, 20 hour days. Work all day and then go to work at night and then. So everybody's a scrap guy for a week. But even he was shocked to find his first truckload didn't cash out what he expected. How much was it? 35. 35? You're pretty surprised by that? Oh, yeah. I'm really surprised. Last year, that was a $100 load. Even with lower payoff, trucks just as tall as they are wide are pulling through knowing any amount of cash for someone's trash is a bonus. Oh, we look forward to it. Krista Bain, Valley News Live. We've attached a few links to places that buy metals. Just head to valleynewslive.com and then click on this story.